Hi everybody, my name is Steven Han. I'm the Outdoor Programs Director here at Maine Sport Outfitters. Today we're going to talk to you guys about some safe paddling and efficient paddling when you're out on the ocean. So to start off, um, when you're holding your paddle, if I spin around for you guys right here, you want the long edge on top, short edge on bottom with the scoop face. So if I show it to you, there's a back face and a power face. So you want the scoop face facing towards you with the long edge on top. So that's how you want the, the blades oriented. When you're holding your paddle, you want your hands about shoulder width apart. You can go out a little bit or you can come in a little bit. If you come in too far, your wrist may start to hurt. Out too far, your shoulders may start to hurt. So just play with that when you're on the water. See what feels best for you, feels most comfortable. When we're in our boats, we want five points of contact. Makes us and the boat become one, which makes the boat more stable. Everybody likes a more stable boat. So we're gonna have our feet on the foot pegs. Our knees or thighs are gonna be out in a diamond shape up against the thigh braces. And then our button back is gonna be nice, firmly upright in the seat. So not lounge back, but nice and upright in our seat. So again, hands about shoulder width apart. Our forward stroke, which we're gonna move ourselves forward. What that's gonna be is we're gonna rotate our body. We're gonna go in at our feet, out at our seat, rotating our torso. So we're gonna use our stronger muscles in our body, which is our core. So in at your feet, out at your seat, using torso rotation. So in at your feet, out at your seat, torso rotation. That's our forward stroke. Our back stroke, which we'll use to go in reverse or stop ourselves, the same thing, just in reverse. So you're gonna rotate in at your seat, forward to your feet, in at your seat, forward to your feet. So that's how we can go in reverse or stop ourselves. So we've learned how to go forward, we've learned how to go in reverse. Lastly, we're gonna go over a turning stroke called a sweep stroke. For that, you're gonna reach way out forward to your bow, make a big sweeping C to the stern. If you do that on your left-hand side, the boat's gonna go right. If you do it on the right-hand side, your boat's gonna go left. Awesome. So, gearing up when we're getting in our boats, we start with a skirt when we're on the ocean. So there's a couple parts to a skirt. You have the tube or the tunnel, and then the deck or the tongue. The deck is gonna have some sort of handle off the front of it. So you're gonna pull this on just like you're pulling on a pair of pants or a skirt. You're gonna step right through it and pull it up. We say the higher, the drier. So I wear mine up around my rib cage. So you're gonna get it up there. This allows it to be up above your butt when you sit in it so you get a nice smooth deck for water to feed off of. Lastly, when we're putting our life jackets on, we're gonna put it on just like a jacket, zip it up in the front. Almost all life jackets now are gonna have a sneaky little buckle at the bottom. You wanna make sure you get that snapped. And then a big mistake people make is they'll start by cinching down the shoulder straps. What you wanna do is start on the sides and work in from the sides first, keeping the life jacket nice and low on your body. So bear with me here. We're gonna cinch up the life jacket a little bit. And then once it's nice and cinched down on my side, we're then going to cinch down the shoulder straps. Once it's on there nice and tight, if you take your thumbs, put them under the shoulder straps and apply a little bit of pressure, it shouldn't raise up around your neck. So when we're wearing a skirt, there's a couple things we need to remember in the case of a capsize, which shouldn't happen because we're all gonna stay nice, dry, and upright in our boats. But in the case that it does happen, I want everybody to remember three words. Those three words are tuck, pull, and push. So the first word is tuck. You're gonna tuck forward. What this does is if you're in shallow water, you're less likely to bump your head. It also orients your hands to the front of the cockpit, which is where our grab loop is. Second word is pull. You're gonna grab that, you're gonna pull it. 
gonna break the suction between the boat and the water. The boat's gonna fill with water. 90% of the time, it's gonna push you right out of the boat. And the odd chance that it doesn't, you're gonna slide your hands down to your hips and you're gonna push off like you're taking off a pair of pants. You'll pop right to the surface and then whoever you're with can help you guys get back in the boat as quickly as possible. So quick reminder, those three words are tuck, pull, push. So tuck, pull, push. Now that we've learned how to hold our paddle, move ourselves forward, backwards, and turning, we're geared up nicely. We're gonna hop in our boat and go for a great path.